What's happening with you? It's your guy King David from Trimaster, Trimaster.com. Here today I'm going to be showing you guys if you're new to machine, how to set your machine up as a template. So every time you open it up, it uh, open up in the same way you like it. Like such as um, if you like contact and you like to use contact on multiple different groups, you can set this up simply just by doing this right here. So let's get straight to it. Um, first thing first, if you're a person who likes to write in maybe four bar, eight bar increment, it's good to go ahead and get that set up. And um, how you would do that is you would come here into seams on your uh, on your hardware and then switch the length to four bars. Me personally, I like to work in four bars. With you, you may choose eight or 16. So um, you wanna do that. And then the first thing you do after that is uh, select pattern, select the pad on the pattern and then move it to four bars. Select the next group. I like to write maybe like four, uh, three to four different type of instruments in my beat arrangement. So I'm gonna have like uh, three pads selected in this. So um, group B, same thing. C, select the pad. D, select the pad. And then E, I'm gonna select the pad right there. And then E, I like to have. Um, my uh, tags are already set up. So like in my beats, I like to already have my tags already in my beats. Instead of me searching for them, I have all my tags on all the pads in this specific group. So um, I'm gonna load all my uh, tags on all the uh, on the pads right here. And so what I'll do is since I already know I'm gonna do that, I'll name this tag, right? And then like maybe group A, is like where I like to have my drums at, so I'm gonna name it drums. And um, the other ones, I kind of leave those blank because I don't know what type of instruments I'm feeling for or have a vibe for, so I'm gonna leave those blank until I actually load a VST and a preset up to start working with. So um, the next thing is I'm gonna go to B, and for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and use um, Expand to is my sound I like to play with. So, what you do is um, have your uh, your instrument already loaded up, and or you like to might work in the same uh, VST all the time, or choose different ones. So in the other groups, you can kind of choose those two, and then just whatever type of VST or sound module you're using, just load those up. So um, after you do all that, you want to save it, and you do that by holding Shift in the all button and it'll pull up. Now I already have this already set up in here. So um, call this King Temp. And then I wanna save it. For the sake of this tutorial, I ain't gonna do that because I already have a template already saved for that. But what you wanna do after you have these things already implemented, what you do is you go to preference after you save it and everything. You go to preference and then you wanna go down to the default. And in default right here, you'll see project and standalone template and plug-in template. Now what they're asking for is you to take a session that you already created and then this particular tutorial right here I did the King the, uh, well, King template right here. So I will select that as my standalone template and say if I'm working in Logic or Pro Tools or Sonar or FL Studio, um, I want to use it as a plug-in template. I may want to choose a whole other different type of layout for it and then I'll just save it. And another thing you might want to do, whatever the duration of uh, length that you're going for in your seams or in your patterns, you change that right here in the pattern length. So then that way, every time you open it up, it's going to automatically by default open up in four bar or yeah, four bar uh, length or eight bar, 16, 32, wherever you're choosing. You just choose uh, to close out. And then that way, every time you choose to do a new session, open up the same way. Wait for it to go through so it open up, yeah, see? And open up the same way every single time. And um, so like I said, this video really is just for those who are new to the machine community, trying to get going, trying to get a faster workflow and just trying to uh, 
pump out some heat without having to go through the steps of always having to reset their scenes and patterns. So, um, welcome to the machine community. And um, to the next time, you got King David, TrapMonster, TrapMonster.com. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share the content as well. I'm out. Peace.